Hello and welcome to MCTV's last episode of It Takes Two. Our show reveals the creativity, smarts, and skills of couples, teammates, siblings, roommates, and best friends. Tonight, one team will prove that it takes two to get through our three rounds victorious. I'm your host, Jamie Cornelia, and tonight I'm joined by Team L3, Christine and Mariah, and Team L4, John and Neil. So let's get to know our teams. This is a special episode for me because I've known all of you for a very long time since the beginning. I've met you all freshman year. Yeah. So this is, this, is a, this is a touching <laughs> one for me. This is my last one. It's this is your first right. one. Thank yeah. you for joining me. So Team L3, bringing it back, our sophomore house in Lower New, shout out. <laughs> so when did you guys first meet? Um, we met freshman year. We were teammates on the cross country team. We ended up living on the same floor in Champ. All right. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. And you still live together. And we, we still, still live together, together every, every year. year. Oh, and then. they speak in sync, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. All right, John and Neil. When did you guys meet? Uh, John and I met freshman year, first day. We actually lived in the same room in Sheehan 101, best room out there. Oh yeah. And we've unfortunately been together ever since, but it's been a great it's been a rough go. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love each other. We had a rough go of it um, when we first met. Like first week or so, we didn't think we were going to like each other, but and you know, look, four years later, here you are. Here we are. <laughs> Best yeah. friends. What a time. Well, thank you. Now that we've met our contestants, it is time for the games to begin. For our first round, we'll be playing Know You Boo. This game tests how well you know your partner. First, Mariah and John will be asked three, question, uh, three questions about their partners. They will have to quickly write an answer on the provided whiteboards. After time is up, I will ask their partners for the correct answer and then have each of them reveal what they wrote. For each match, two points will be rewarded. Okay, so I'm going to ask that Christine and John switch seats, please. Sure. <laughs> We have our lovely napkins sponsored by Marist College, brought to us by Eliza. Good luck. <laughs> okay. So, I know all of you very well, so this was tough to come up with questions. I'm gonna be, real, uh, be really honest, because they're ones that I could answer. So I was like, obviously they can answer. So, too embarrassing for the first one, no, okay. no, no. What is the name of the street they live on? And I'm not talking about 3399 North Road. This one is tough. I've been to Christine's house, but I don't know her street, so. Right, like I'm the first. I, I, you are the first house. And the sign is literally in my yard. The name <laughs> of my neighborhood is literally Marcus. in well, my Mariah. yard. <laughs> Guess I hope you know. Has John visited you? No, it's actually funny. We've actually never been to each other's houses. <laughs> <laughs> I love him though, I love him though. <laughs> my mark is a little thin. Oh, okay. all right. Okay, well, you have your answers? Yeah. All right, Christine, where do you live? I live on Quail Ridge Drive. <laughs> Tully Street. Tully is uh, where Christine lives. <laughs> so you got one part right. You, you got her town. Okay. John, or well, I'm sorry, Neil, where, where do you live? I live on Central Avenue, and I don't think I've ever shared that information. <laughs> what I do know we, his town name, so. What do we, Lindbrook, <laughs> Lindbrook Street. All right, well. <laughs> That's a good call. You, you both went for the same tactic <laughs> yeah. of just naming, naming the town and maybe yeah, a street. Sure. Next one, my God. All right, sure. all right, we're moving on. Would your partner rather go on vacation to a tropical island or go camping? Hmm. This is this is a tough one. You know, s'mores or pina coladas. It's it's a real mix. You know. Different people out there. Yeah, you get a very different vibe on each vacation. Yeah. 
Maybe after camping, you then go to the tropical island to relax that's, after the hard one. Yeah, that would be a lot of vacation. All right, well, we've got a dead marker. So sharing is caring, yeah. kids. <laughs> sharing is caring. All right, well, they have their answers. Christine, tropical island or camping? Tropical island. Oh, <laughs> she knows. Yeah, I definitely. I see more as a tropical island. I love girl. nature, but not sleeping in it. Mm -hmm. That's that fair. And there's showers in tropical islands. Exactly. Showers. Showers yep. are good. All yeah. right, Neil. I'm gonna go with tropical island. Tropical <laughs> island. <laughs> Everybody, we got some expensive taste here. Yeah, <laughs> Can I join this vacation in the tropical island? Of course. I think so. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. So you each have two points now. And what was the name of their first pet? This is this is an interesting one. Uh, I had a cat. Uh, I had a fish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I will ask you, but I don't want to like give away what they're writing. So we'll see. All right. This is an interesting name. All right, Christine, <laughs> what was your first pet? And um, what was their name? My first pet was a yellow lab named Ubu. Oh, oh she knew. Ooh. She got the Ubu. Yeah, is that the correct that's spelling? That's not the correct spelling, but Ubu. no one knows how to spell it. Also, so. what does that mean? Um, so there used to be this TV production company at the end of, I think it was Friends, or some show that my okay. parents watched together, and the name of the production company was Ubu. called Ubu. So at the end of the... Um, show uh, some lady would come out and be a yellow lab and she'd say, sit, Ubu, sit. Oh. And so they got their first dog together and named it Ubu. Wow. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a very interesting story. Yeah. You can, can you follow that one up? <laughs> so I'm going to go with no name because I never really had a pit. I had a goldfish once, don't really count it. So I'm hoping John <laughs> remembered that and just didn't write a name at all. Well, I'll leave it up to the judges here. I wrote, I have no I idea. Have no. <laughs> Which I, think, I think that should be considered. All right, 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 camera. Camera crew, what are we saying? He's giving us a thumbs up. All right, all right, we, we got, got three it. thumbs got up. All right. Yeah, I actually, I just, as you said, I was like, you didn't have a pet, nope. did you? Nope. What would you want as a pet if you could? Definitely a dog and a dachshund. I played a lot of Nintendo dogs as a kid. Dachshund was always <laughs> my top choice. Wonderful. You have a name picked out? <laughs> Not yet. Uh, maybe Maxwell. <laughs> Very classy. Very nice. All right, so we're going to switch the boards over. You guys are tied currently, four to four. Okay. And I believe you're gonna have to share a marker. That's fine. I'm sorry. We have a low budget sure here. Yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, so first question. Who is your partner's favorite Disney princess? <laughs> we, we've got a variety of choices now. You have Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, Snow White. Yeah, I definitely have to think about Ariel, first. Anna, Elsa, Rapunzel. Tiana, Pocahontas, Mulan, Merida, though she's Pixar, but like. I know you're stuck here. It's a good host. Oh, thank you. I really, I studied up for during my life. Belle, Jasmine, forgot those. They're pretty popular. Classic. Yeah. Do you guys have princesses in mind? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Sure. Well, I feel like as you grow older, there's sometimes like there's a favorite one from childhood. Yeah. But then you get a little older and you're like, oh, I appreciate this other movie more. So it, sometimes it's hard to choose. And it stayed true. My, yours has stayed true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like John, has yours stayed true? Um, no, I think it's, it's flip flops a little bit. Oh, oh my gosh. I was, <laughs> well, well, who was I, was... I was thinking Moana, but then the more I thought about it, I don't think she's technically a princess, is she? Mm. So I guess I'd have to go classic and say Belle from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> wow, you said classic. I thought I had it, so oh. I was so surprised. <laughs> Simply because yeah. I have no idea. Who is your favorite Disney princess? Uh, no. I'd definitely go Belle, actually, because Beauty and Beast, just watch it. Oh, yeah, definitely. The new one or the old? The new one. Yeah. I don't know. I want to watch it. Hermione, Belle, what can't she do? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Mariah, who is your favorite? My favorite is Jasmine. Jasmine. I don't, is that? No? Belle. We got a lot of Bells. Wow. Yeah. We should have switched. Jess? We should have watched the movie. Yeah, Aladdin. we're gonna have a party after this. We're gonna watch Beauty and the Beast. It'll be great. <laughs> Who is your favorite, Christine? I was never really into princesses, to be honest. But is it, Ariel a princess? She is. I was thinking yeah, your red I just hair. Would say that just default. <laughs> but, yeah, if I had to choose, the mermaid's pretty cool, I guess. With the red hair. 
And yeah, Cinderella was mine because I had blonde hair and blue eyes, yeah. So, all right, moving on to our next question. Love Disney, great. Is your partner a beach or a pool person? You know, I don't discriminate against bodies of water. I love both. But they have their, their pieces of their minds. Perfect. So, you know, they're the person Like, pools, year, it's a year-round thing. Beach, well, at least in the Northeast. You gotta watch. I think that everything's year-round, too. That's true. You have to travel a little farther. Yeah. Pool, you could, like, yeah. go to a hotel. Yeah. And just check in. It'd be Very cool. true. All right, you guys have your answers. Yes. John, beach or the pool? Um, well, I'm a Jersey boy, so what can I say? I gotta say, rep the Jersey Shore and say the beach. DTS? Oh, yeah. Well, of course I knew that, so I went with beach. <laughs> um, I figured what? he needed, you know, a nice pina colada or something down there. Uh, he's 21, so it's okay. Soon to be 22. <laughs> yeah, birthday's coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Everyone's invited. <laughs> <laughs> Mariah, beach or the pool? I'm also a Jersey girl, so I would say the beach as well. Tight beach, beach. Way to go. All right. Are we tied? Yes. Yeah. This is this Ooh. is a tight one. It's a very tight. This is a deal breaker right now. <sighs> well, we've still got rounds to go. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be that'd be really short. And we have our last question. All right, Mariah, you gotta you trying to run my show? <laughs> yeah. She wants to leave. It's all right. All right. What is your partner's current favorite song to play on repeat? You know, so they asked me this before, and I found it difficult. So yeah, sometimes you just don't know. I can think of like three different songs right now. You know, it's tough. I, I mean, I guess you could write them all down. Okay. Do you know multiple ones? <laughs> no, I'm pretty confident. <laughs> all right then. <laughs> but I could. You know, sometimes it's like I've got different ones that I'm listening to. Yeah, that's right. So, whether it's bumping, maybe it's a little more mellow. What's your uh, favorite song? My favorite, like all-time favorite, or my current? Let's go. Let's go both. All-time favorite. Uh, I would probably be "Work Song" by Hozier. Okay. It's my, oh, it's my alarm, one. my ringtone, <laughs> for the past two, three years. So, I like that one. Um, let's give Jamie the whiteboard. Let's turn yeah. the show around. Yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> just, just all <laughs> about me. Over. All right. Well, are you I, ready? Yeah, I think. Okay. So. John, favorite song. What okay. were we playing? Um, I think you got it. Uh, we were just talking about this, actually. It's a jam, classic Kanye song, Bound To. Of course, I already knew that. He spelled it wrong, but it's okay. It's fine, Bound To, I think it's the number two, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. We're big Kanye guys, we listen to it every Great night. Um, yeah, that's all I can say. All right, Mariah. So, I don't know, if I have three songs, too. I listen on repeat frequently right now. Mm -hmm. So one's Better Off Alone, one's Never Be The Same, and another one is, well, I don't know, another one. But yeah, those two. <laughs> OK. Those two. Uh, I said the middle. Ooh. Oh. Mm -hmm. that, that's a good song. That's a good, good song, Bedford. <laughs> good try. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> oh my god, wow. Ouch. <laughs> OK. <laughs> so after the first round, we are left with a score of six to four. But don't worry, we are just getting started. Welcome back. Our second round is called Teamwork Makes the Dream Work. This round will test your communication skills and your lip reading skills. One team member will put headphones on with loud music playing and their teammate will recite the phrase given on the cards I give them. The person wearing the headphones, like John is so lovely in his modeling right now, <laughs> will try to guess what their teammate is saying. There will be three tries for each phrase. So, have you turned on your music yet, I John? And it's gotta be it's gotta be bumping. Yeah, I can't hear anything. Can't hear anything. What's your sister's Wait, name? What? No, I wanted to try. <laughs> What's your sister's name? Did the game start? I don't know. <laughs> good, good. Okay, perfect. So here are your three cards. Do I have you to can... show the card? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, they're Marist to the hold on. They're Marist-themed phrases. Okay. I forgot to okay. mention And them. I get three tries? To... He gets three tries to say it, okay. yeah. Okay. And then, sure. okay. Cool. Ready. Right. What's two plus two? Okay, good. I'm good? Yeah. Okay. 
Groundhog. <laughs> Groundhog. I got it. Say it. Groundhog. Guess. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> All right. Move on to the. Make it a little louder. <laughs> oh. <laughs> David Yellen. <laughs> Stop laughing and then do it again. David Yellen. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> Alright, next one. Oh, I don't get to know. Well, we'll tell you at the end. <laughs> that is, it's a tough one. Sheehan. You can't hear me, so it's hard. Sheehan. <laughs> Gian. Gia's? <laughs> that is hey, not a close. terrible that's guess. Close. If you want to make another... I don't know. You can make another guess if you want, if you have any idea. Or... No. Jim? I don't know. <laughs> uh, the last one was Sheehan. Oh, Sheehan. And David Yellen. David Yellen. Oh, man. Sorry, guys. All right. So, you Neil, you can put the headphones on now. Let's, you can pick a song. I can hear Bound 2 coming out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was... Big head. <laughs> oh, <come on>. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what Neil's gonna queue up. All the stars. Shout out to Kendrick and SZA. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was gonna say it's so loud we can hear it. Oh, because it's not plugged in. All right. Hey, Neil. Long Island sucks. I heard that. <laughs> Now, can you hear me? What? Okay, good. <laughs> All right, John, you can go. Okay, first word. Darby's. <laughs> Darby's. <laughs> Darby's. <laughs> you just gotta make a guess. It's hard. Um, just make a guess. I have no idea. Just so guess something. I'll go with uh, Hancock. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Good, good. All right, well, well next one. Uh, can I go? Yes. Rotunda. <laughs> Slow it down. Okay. Rotunda. Rotunda. Um, something with an F. <laughs> Financial services. Yeah, yeah, you got it. <laughs> Financial. <laughs> Shout out. Okay, last one. Hudson River. <laughs> Hudson River. Hudson <laughs> River. Um, I got no idea. All right, well, All right. good try, good try. <laughs> okay. I have no idea. So the last was, one was Hudson River. Okay. First one was Darby's. Oh, I didn't think you guys, I was going to say like Four Loco or something. <laughs> I didn't think you guys were going to go Darby's. Well, <laughs> and then the Rotunda, middle one was Rotunda. No idea. Yeah. Yeah, All right, idea. well. That's tough. Well, I'm going to pass if you don't mind us using your phone. Yeah, go right ahead. Just careful with the um, headphone jack because it comes out. Okay. And I have to unlock it too. What, any, what are you hiding on your phone? Should I put it on the middle? <laughs> yeah, put that on. All right, here's your. No, don't put it on a song you like. You'll just. I was focusing on the lyrics too much. <laughs> 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 Beethoven. That's tough. Okay, it's I'm glad pause. we got one. Okay, so you can just hit play. Don't have to go. All right. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Put the volume up too. Yeah. Because ours was pretty loud. I had it all. Okay, there it is. She looks, she's, she's bopping. <laughs> okay. So, how many sisters do you have? Two. Oh. Oh, yeah, oh. you can hear that. <laughs> How's Papa Christian? Good. <laughs> That's hard. Fats. 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 
Damn. Make it yes. louder. I can't hear the music anymore. <laughs> On the side there. Oh, yeah. It's. But like the thing, once it comes out, you. Yeah, I the know that it. lowers again. Um. Androids. No, it's just my phone. All right, I can hear that. All right. Champagne. 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 <laughs> oh, wow. Lowell Thomas. Lowell Thomas. Oh, come on. <laughs> I mean, I can hear the music. I can hear the music too, yeah, so it's definitely up right. all the way. Just the middle. Yeah, this song, just keep the song on. Are these my cards? Yeah. That's yes. easiest. No. Those were the ones she just used. Alright. You want it louder? I can't hear anything. Okay. <laughs> Alright, good. good. So can I go? Yes. Red Fox. Yes. <laughs> wow. They're good. They're on it. They're good. It's bigger than also the Mara Speech. Oh. oh wow. New Garland. New Garland. New Garland? Yes. I was gonna say you live there. I'd hope you get that. That was good. I thought you were saying wow. New Union at first. <laughs> okay, so cards were worth two points. And I missaid the score last time. So it was eight to six. You guys got two points. You guys got 12. So it is now 18 Ooh. to 10. <laughs> team L3. So congratulations. Come back. I'm sorry, summer. Team L4, you lost this round, but we will have you'll have time to come back. So we're gonna now move on to round three to a blind drawing. And questions are now gonna so this round is worth five points. Okay. All right. All right. We'll be back just after this. Welcome to round three. This round will test your communication skills and your drawing skills. One member of each team will be, well, not blindfolded, but back. metaphorically blindfolded. <laughs> They're turned around. While their teammate has to entrust them how to draw an item without revealing what it is. Teams will be given two minutes to complete their drawings. The team with the closest depiction of the item wins. The team with the best drawing will be awarded, I said five points, so I'm gonna make it five points. <laughs> All right, so you wanna read, I've, been, I've given mm -hmm. Christine and John the cards. If you wanna look at what it is, or if you already have. All yep. right, you ready? Yep. Set, go. Draw a big square. All right. it's Oh, I, and then in the middle of that square, yeah. square draw um, a tiny little with an, circle. With a little thing underneath it, like More and then as, a as if, tiny like, this, line coming off that circle. I, off I the think side I'm confused the how the rules work. <laughs> Just stay straight. It's like a. a, a and when that line goes almost out a of diamond, the square, um, draw. And then there's like the three lines. Um, coming it's off like the main, main sort of thing, I guess. Okay. <laughs> and then with a smaller circle inside of it. So does Mariah know? And then like guess coming from the top, is? like behind it, I guess. I think I'm gonna take a guess of what it is. Okay. Is? There yeah. There should be like a little like line coming from behind. Oh, I thought that was good. And you could like um, curve it down. Yeah, I didn't even It's a top I down a view. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> I took a guess of what I think it was. Even if you don't Are you both done? I guess. <laughs> are you guys done describing? I thought I was supposed to like. You can keep describing. Kind of, like, yeah. Thing. Describe shapes. Could you describe a little oh, Just the shapes. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, it's a square. Yeah. And if you were looking down at the object, it would be a square. So I can't like, give hints as to what the With a little thing circle is. No. in the middle oh, okay. and okay. a thing coming yeah, well, off of the circle. Right? I don't that know if it's right. I just took a guess. All right, you got a diamond with a circle. Then, with a circle yeah. in the middle. With three things coming off. I already know. I think I got it, actually. Okay. Based off my. All right, well, Mariah drew the exact same thing. So, <laughs> I'm gonna call it. We'll have you reveal your boards. Um. <laughs> drew a baseball. Drew a baseball. 
<laughs> I hope that's real. Really that's a diamond. <laughs> so, you know what it is? It's a graduation cap. Oh, you see? Yours was a good idea. Yeah, yeah it like good. it's little Mom's tassels coming off. What if I, I put a baseball yeah. cap, I, this that's design that's on like top of my cap? Down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come to the <laughs> camera oh, crew on this like one. This. <laughs> Who? What What team's uh, no, winning I this? I could have been over there. Uh, I had a great right. baseball so, field. That yeah. would be unanimously Alfred. <laughs> that is a lovely baseball field, Neil. <laughs> Thank you. That, that's great. Maybe that's what you should decorate your cap as. I'm going to what Christine has to say this time. <laughs> <laughs> so we fair. end round three with a score of 23 to 10. It's but fair. wait, <laughs> there's more. I can't end my last episode just yet. Oh, so, for our last round, we'll be playing charades. We decided to add a fourth round. You know, I get to call the shots, so mm -hmm. whatever. <laughs> uh, each team will be given 90 seconds to act out and get through as many cards as possible. When acting out, no talking is allowed. For each correct answer, each team will be given two points. All right? So you, you guys have, you can make it back. You can make it back. All right? Have faith. I have a lot of faith. All right. We're coming right back. Welcome to round four. Woo, bonus round. Which we like to call in it to win it. So we have team L3 playing charades. And our theme is summer, because it's coming up. Even though fi spring's finally here, because it's actually warm. So I'm going to give you the cards, Mara. You have 90 seconds. And let us know when you're ready. Also. You can't talk or make sounds. Okay. So. I'm ready. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Set. Go. Flying a kite. Chalk. Baseball. Surfing. Swimming. Tennis. Frisbee. Walking dog. A bunny. <laughs> a riding a horse. Uh, hopscotch. <laughs> I would come back to this one. <laughs> Jump rope, hopscotch. Uh, you guys have uh, 30 burger. seconds. Yeah. Watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Rowing, uh, uh, kayaking. Jump rope. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Pogo stick. Oh, I would have <laughs> never guessed that. I would have <laughs> never guessed that. You did look like a bunny in the beginning, and then I remembered, and it was, it was a pogo that was stick. Good. That was good. So, that was you guys hard. just got 10 cards. You oh, add oh. 20 points to your score. <laughs> so, you have a total of 43. Neil and John, if you get them all, we're going to be one point away. We might have to do a tiebreaker. All right. So, if I can ask L3 and L4 to switch places, please. You could, you could leave him on the ground. Okay. <laughs> Who is the actor? Neil. We learned our lesson from last time. Oh, true. <laughs> okay, so, whenever you're ready, set, go. <laughs> what the hell? Summer. Um, sunbathing, suntanning, okay. <laughs> A basketball. Um, uh, surfing, um, pitching. I... <laughs> well, you could come back to uh, it. Like biking, uh, jump roping. <laughs> you can, yeah. <laughs> Gardening. <laughs> Oh, but sandcastle. Sandcastle. Okay. Fishing. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> Eating a, ice cream. <laughs> I would have gone with a cone, but. Uh, grilling. Like. Classic dad move. Diving. <laughs> you guys got That's 15 seconds. Catching like a firefly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> five, um, four, three, bird watching. two, sailing. one. I don't know. Sailing. Sailing. Oh. And the one that you oh. missed was skateboarding. Oh. Oh, that's what the thing was. Yeah. yeah. Right. You also threw jumping rope. I, no, we got that one. Oh, we got jumping rope. Yeah. So you missed all but two, I believe. So you got nine. So 18 plus 10 is 28. You're welcome. So team L3 can come back out. Thank you all for being on my very last MCTV show. This is, this is a rough one. Thank you. And so our final round, we end with a score of 43 for Team L3 and 28 for Team L4. Good job, guys. So you are the final winners of It Takes Two, Christine and Mariah. The, you end out my legacy here. Thank you to all of you for coming for a fun and competitive game. This has been a great battle of friends and housemates. I'm Jamie Cornelia, and thanks for watching It Takes Two. Good night. <laughs>